So today I am covering all of the different types of meals that I eat in a day and the weird combination. So you guys might've seen my short series, Looks Gross, Tastes Great. I like to cook my foods for simplicity and tasting good. I don't really care if they look good and some of the combinations might not make sense to you, but I enjoy them. So let's get started with breakfast. So my breakfast is going to be a bowl of blueberries with some oats and some hemp hearts and some cinnamon. And I'm also going to have a side of Lilydale Costco turkey because you need to get your protein in. So typically I will eat my protein first and then I'll have my blueberries and oats as a dessert. If you want this meal to be slightly lower carb, just get rid of the maple syrup. The lemon and the cinnamon and the blueberry goes together really, really well. Just adds a little bit more tartness compared to sweetness. So for the turkey, you get these packs at Costco. I'm just gonna weigh it out and I'm gonna toss it in the air fryer on 350 for 10 minutes and bring it out, put it into a bowl and add some vinegar afterwards. That is one of my favorite things, adding acidity to a protein. So either lemon juice or vinegar, but because I already have lemon in my oats, I'm gonna pick vinegar. And when this comes out, guys, it honestly tastes like salt and vinegar chips for breakfast and it's pure protein. I buy the majority of my fruits and vegetables frozen. And then I'm gonna toss these in the microwave for about a minute and a half so that they become mushy and there's that like blueberry juice syrup at the bottom. I'm going to add raw oats and I'm not going to cook them. I'm going to keep them in their current state. Add some salt and cinnamon, some hemp hearts. some maple syrup. And half of a lemon. And then all I'm gonna do is mix this up and let it sit while I eat the turkey with the vinegar and let the oats soak up all of the blueberry and lemon and maple syrup. And then I will have this as my dessert to my protein breakfast. So now I'm going to start preparing some of my post-workout meals. I'm gonna soak my potatoes for my air fried potato french fries. And then I'm also going to get my Ninja Creamy Strawberry Pineapple Sorbet put together now so that when I get back, I just pop it into the machine and then I have a pint of ice cream post-workout, which is so nice. So for my post-workout sorbet, I'm going to toss in some frozen pineapple, again from Costco. frozen avocado for some healthy fats and fiber. You'll see in the cup that there's a lot of gaps and the Ninja Creamy, it has to be flat. So what I do is take my strawberries and I'm going to microwave them and turn them into like a mushy paste that fills the gaps of this before I refreeze it. And then I just toss this in the freezer and pull it out right when I get home from the gym. So now I'm going to start prepping my potatoes so that I can make air fried potato fries when I get back as well. I have a full YouTube video on this already, so I'll just drop that below if you guys wanna know how to make it. So I now have my cut up potatoes in a bowl of water. I'm just gonna let it soak again until I get back from the gym. Mm.
that workout and it's ice cream time. Ice cream in a cone is so much better than ice cream in a cup, but I still have like a bunch left over because it wouldn't fit on this. Post-workout carbs, so good. Say it with me, looks gross. Tastes great. Topped it up, two ice cream cones for the price of one. Now it's time to focus on the protein component. So I buy these pork tenderloins from Costco. First of all, they're cheaper than chicken and steak and pork has the highest thermic effect of food when it comes to protein, meaning pork burns the most calories being digested compared to steak or chicken. It is marginal, it's not gonna make a huge difference, but it's just a protein source that I enjoy. So what I do is I defrost this, this is rock hard right now, and then I'll cut it into small chunks and pop it all in the air fryer to cook it once, and then I'll have some of that, so it's in the air fryer right now, and I'm also set up for future meals because I have a couple more meals of pork tenderloin that I can just reheat in the future. One thing that I am a huge fan of is fermented foods like sauerkraut. So sauerkraut is part of my everyday routine because the probiotics that you get from fermented food compared to taking a probiotic are so different and way more beneficial. So I'm going to add 32 grams of sauerkraut to my pork to give it a little bit more flavor and then mix it up. It's a very German dish. Well, I am half German if you didn't know, and I really like it. And then another thing that I do is use the liquid, which is also known as the brine, kind of as a sauce for the pork to pick up that flavor. So not only do I have the cabbage part, but I'll also have some of the sauce. Been about three and a half hours since my last meal so now we are going to dive into the french fries and some pork tenderloin so i'm going to drain my potatoes which have been soaking now for probably about five and a half hours soaking them just makes them a little bit crispier when they cook i'm going to add some olive oil and then toss them into the air fryer and then once that's done i'm going to add the pork tenderloin that i had cooked previously cut it into little bits and then air fry it all together so that everything comes out nice and crispy pair it with a side of broccoli because vegetables add some ketchup and go from there. And then the final meal that I'm going to have tonight is going to be a combination of wild rice. So the black rice, which is an entirely different plant species than your white rice or your brown rice, your jasmine, basmati, all of that originates in Asia, whereas wild rice is from North America. So if you can't handle rice, um, wild rice might be a good alternative for you to look into. I'm gonna pair that with some green peas, some MCT oil, and then some little bits of turkey uh, to get my protein in there. And this is a really good final meal of the day. I typically eat it about three hours before I go to sleep to allow time to digest so that when I'm falling asleep, my body is not massively digesting foods, but that increase in complex carbohydrates from the wild rice and the protein will help my body get into a better quality of deep sleep so I can wake up more refreshed tomorrow. I bulk prepped all of my rice earlier this morning in my rice maker. And when I consume rice, I track it raw just because the amount of water that I add to it is very different from cook to cook. So on the label, it says per 45 grams dry. So I will do that multiplied by the number of servings. So this time I made five. And then once it's done evenly-ish, divided into five portions, and I'm the only person eating those portions. So I know over the five days, those macros will balance out, even if it's not like the perfect, precise 45 grams per container.
And that concludes my full day of eating and all of the meals that are fueling me to drive performance and get strong in the gym. Each week, calories, predominantly carbs, are going up, which I'm very, very happy to see. All of the meals today bring me to 180 grams of protein and 40 grams of fiber, which keeps me nice and full and keeps me regular, which is nice. You guys also might have noticed that I didn't have any chicken in my protein today. So because I have a very limited amount of protein sources that agree with my digestion, I have to rotate through them and not eat the same things every single day. So I'll have a turkey and a pork day where those are my protein sources. And then I'll have an all chicken day where I'm alternating between chicken breasts and chicken thighs and chicken wings, um, just to add a little bit of variety, but it is really important to rotate your meals. And if you're someone that eats the same thing every single day try eating that for like three or four days maybe a maximum of a week at a time especially if you're meal prepping and then change it up the following week you're not going to get as bored of your meals yes it's going to take some think work but the longer you do this the better you find your staple meals like i demonstrated today that you just pick you enjoy and you rotate through it makes it really easy if you found any inspiration from these meals and you're like yes i'm going to try that one comment below and let me know and also let me know if you want me to do one of these in the future because like I said this is one of my meal combination days but I still got a lot more up my sleeve and if you found these beneficial and if you find them tasty they might look gross but they taste great let me know and I can make another one have a great week guys